Welcome to the garden. This bright orange mushroom is a jack-o'-lantern. Now, these are poisonous, and they usually grow about to the size of your hand, and when they mature, they do get a dimpled cap, sometimes a funnel shape. And for that reason, they look a lot like a common chanterelle, which is a well-known, really delicious edible. There are a few ways that you can tell them apart. First of all, the chanterelle's gills are actually false gills, so they're kind of soft and round, and they fork at the ends. So they, they start off as a single gill, and then they'll split into two, and so the edge has all these little forking gills on it. You can tell the stem is solid and nice and light colored, and they tend to smell a bit like dried apricots. They also grow more solitarily. The jack-o'-lanterns will grow in really large clusters, often on stumps, but they can grow in open areas like this. So they don't always grow on stumps. But there are downed oak trees nearby, so that could explain why they're here. Common chanterelle will be a bit more yellow, whereas these are a deep orange, almost a blaze orange. I'm not sure which ones these are. stem is actually a bit hollow, and it's bright orange, just like the mushroom. So the chanterelles would have a lighter color interior, and it would be solid, like the kind of mushrooms you buy at the store, the button mushrooms. If we take a close look at the gills, they do kind of flare up into the stem a little bit, just like chanterelles, but these are true gills. They're very sharp, very thin. You can see you can kind of splay them apart like cards and they do not fork. If it looks like they're forking, that's just uh, little gills in between. But these are not forked. According to most sources, including my little field guide here, the gills glow in the dark, which is a really interesting feature if it's true. Now I've heard conflicting accounts, but because it's growing in clusters and because it's bright orange instead of a yellowish, it has true gills, which are very thin and sharp, and they do not fork. So all these can help us identify this mushroom as a jack-o'-lantern. So the next time you're out mushroom hunting and you see a bright orange mushroom, stop and check if it's a jack-o'-lantern or a common chanterelle. So I hope you give this a grow. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.